In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create tables in Word. Uh, table is just rows and columns, and there's several ways to create one. Uh, use a table whenever you want to organize your data, you know, something like this. Um, this is a table. Uh, this down here is also a table, and you can tell because when I pause the mouse over it, uh, I get this little uh, plus sign up here in the upper left-hand corner, and that will always appear whenever you move your mouse over not supposed to whenever you move your mouse over a table and click on the table. Uh, also, if you push the show hide button in um, on the end of each table cell, there's this little four pointed item. I'm not sure what you call that character, but uh, Word puts it in there. And the only purpose I can tell for putting it in there is it's a visual indicator to you that lets you know that you are working with the table. Uh, so these, this is actually the same table in both cases here. Uh, the difference is the borders. Um, I turn the borders off. So this doesn't look like a table, uh, but you can use it to organize the data in regions on your screen uh, and not show the borders. So if I go here, I need to select the whole thing first. Okay, select the whole thing and then go up here and tell it that I want to see all borders. It looks just like this one up here. And I'm going to do a control Z to undo that to bring it back the way it was before. Now we're going to take a look at another document here. Let's try that again. Okay. And here's another document. Here's some data to practice on. And we're going to go to the Home tab here and turn on the Show Hide button, which I think you should probably have on almost all the time when you're working in Windows. And we see we've got a table here, and this time I didn't have to click in it. And uh, the little four-headed arrow appears up here in the upper left-hand corner. And this is the only table that I've got. Okay. And there's a couple of ways to create tables in Word. Uh, one is... Uh, from existing data. So if you have your data and you have to, there has to be some way that you've already indicated in your data that you want it in columns. So uh, for example, this text down here uh, has already been put into columns by putting tabs in between the different columns. So I've got four columns here and there are three tabs on tab characters on each line. So if you have some data that's already set up in columns like this using tabs as separators, then you can make it into a table just by selecting it and telling Word to make it into a table and telling it what the separator character is. Now you need to be careful when you do this. Uh, you need to get all of every line. So you need to get all of this, but don't get an extra line down here. If you get an extra line down here, uh, Excel gets a little, I'm sorry, Word gets a little bit confused because of the number of tab characters. There's three on every line, but there's there's not any tab characters on this line, and it's not quite sure what to do to convert it into a table. Um, on the other end, uh, you know, make sure that you get all three tab characters up on the first line. So if I leave this one off, there's only two tab characters in this selection and three on every other line, and again, uh, it'll be a little more difficult for you to make it into the table that you want using Word. And also, on the top end here, make sure that you don't get an extra line up there. So uh, as long as you get all of every line that you want and nothing more, uh, it'll be easy for Word to convert this into a table for us. The table creation button is on the insert tab. And if I go to table here and click on the arrow, uh, one of my options is to convert text into a table. And it has figured out the correct number of columns for me and the number of rows and uh, we're going to let it automatically decide uh, the width for us and then here's the key you have to tell it what character what character you're using to separate the columns and it's a tab in this case so I'm good just click on OK and it converts it into the exact same table that I had up here now I've got another example down here below that is also the exact same data but with slash characters instead of tab characters separating the columns and you need to have the same number of separator characters on each line. In this case, it's the slash. And it might be easy to forget this first slash, but I want budget to be over in column two, not in column one. So uh, you need to have three slashes on every line, and we have to have an initial slash here. So again, make sure you don't select anything extra. 
uh, either on the top or the bottom. Make sure you get all of the lines that are in the table when you do your selection. And go back to your Insert tab, go to Table, and click on Convert Text to Table. And, okay, now it thinks that um, it's supposed to separate it at paragraph marks. Well, if it does, then, you know, that's going to be one row of the table and there's only one item. Uh, so what we have to do is we have to tell it, you know, sometimes commas are used. Um, so tabs and commas are the two most common delimiter characters, but you can do another character. So uh, click in here and do slash and notice that as soon as you do, it gets the number of columns right now. So click on OK and there it is. That's also the exact same table that we had before. So as long as you've got a separator in there, it doesn't matter if you originally set out to make it a table, you can make it into a table later on. And I'm going to do a control N here and open up a brand new document. And we're going to look at one more way to create a table from scratch. And that is um, here on the table button. And one of the options here is to just move your mouse over a little template up here. And what did we have before? I think we had uh, six rows and we had four columns. And so that gives me a four by six table. And if I click on that, I've got the same table structure that I had on the other ones. Then you can go in here and you can insert data. And if you type stuff in and hit the Enter key, a uh, nice thing about tables is the table rows will expand so that none of your text is ever hidden. Everything that you type in will always be visible. So those are the two basic ways to create a table. One is if you've already got data in columns or somehow separated. And the other one is to just create it from scratch by uh, using the template on the table button. And we'll look at some options for formatting in another video.